there beauty ravers and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Raven and this is where I like to rave about beauty if you would ever so kindly hit that like and subscribe button to become part of my little family here on YouTube it means so much to me now without further ado let's jump on into the video hi guys today we are decluttering my primers foundations and concealers and I have them all in this box right here. So how I want to do this is I want to guess how many of each category I have and then I will count them and tell you how many I actually have and then I will set a goal for how many I would like to declutter and then we'll do the actual decluttering process. I honestly haven't counted anything in my entire makeup collection in well over a year going on two years now so this is kind of fun for me as well. So my guess for face primers because I'm gonna do face and eye primers separately um, I guess for face primers, I know I have quite a few, but I honestly don't know how many. So I'm gonna say I have 10 face primers. I'm locking in my answer. Let's find out how many I actually have. Alright, I wasn't too far off, but I do have 13 total face primers. Now, my goal to declutter today, I think I want to at least get that down to like 8. Even that is a lot. Honestly, you really don't need that many primers. I don't really know why I have so many, especially considering moisturizer pretty much works as a primer in itself, and I know I have a ton of those too. Yeah, I think I wanted to clutter six face primers. Now let's see if we can do it. The first primer I have here is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. Is it going to focus? My camera never focuses on the things that I need it to. This is very new to my collection. I actually just tried this primer today for the first time. And I do like it. I'm definitely keeping it. And I'm going to try it out some more. The next primer I have here is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. I mentioned this in my 2020 favorites video because this is my favorite primer. It's technically a moisturizer. But again, you can pretty much use any moisturizer as a primer. I think they do about the same thing. I don't know why I think I need 13 <laughs> primers when I know that. But this is my favorite primer slash moisturizer and it is just so good. It's so radiant, so dewy, just makes my skin look amazing. I have heard it's not the best for oily skin though. I have normal to combo skin. So you know, um, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but I think this is an amazing primer. I'm definitely keeping it. I actually have this little mini of it and it's almost gone. So I picked up a full-size version of it, so I technically counted this as two, but I guess you could count it as one. It's the same product. It is technically two different containers, so I'm counting it as two. I'm keeping both, though. Next, I have this Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. I actually picked this up today, so it's brand new to my collection. It came in a little set with a bronzer and a setting powder, and I didn't need the primer, but it was cheaper to get all three, and it was on a really good sale, so I really couldn't beat it. I am going to be trying this, so I'm not decluttering it. Hopefully, it's amazing, and I never declutter it, but... We'll see. Next, I have the NYX Shine Killer. And honestly, I don't know why I bought this, guys. This is a mattifying primer. And the thing is, I should have read the description box on this one because for some reason in my head, I was thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to give you a killer shine. No, no, Raven. It's going to do the opposite of that. <laughs> it's killing the shine. It's not giving you a killer shine. And for some reason, my head registered it in a different site and that's why you should always read the description on any product you purchase but Raven doesn't always do that so um she's learning her lesson slowly but surely <laughs> but I am going to declutter this one next I have this little mini of the Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer this wasn't a bad primer I actually kind of liked how it filled in my pores it was pretty good um it's pretty much gone though and I don't think I'm gonna be grabbing for it it's pretty old now so I'm going to declutter this one next I have the elf puff puff primer this is actually a pretty good primer I'm feeling inflamed that day it's pretty soothing on the skin and I just do like it from time to time so I am going to keep this one next I have this juice beauty illuminating primer um, this wasn't bad, but it wasn't all that great either. I didn't really mind it. It wasn't my favorite, so I am going to declutter it. Next, I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Face Primer. I do enjoy this one quite a bit, and I will be keeping it. 
Next, I have a blur stick, and that is the Milani Instant Touch Up. Um, I consider this a primer. It's all right. I don't think I've tried it enough to really give my full thoughts on it. So I am going to keep it for now. I don't know how long it will last in my collection. It might get decluttered next time if I don't start grabbing for it because I just don't really have any opinions on it at the moment and I feel like I should have some kind of an opinion because I've had it for a few months now. I just need to grab it more and hopefully I will do so. Next I have this Ulta Beauty Flawless Prime. Um, this is so old. I honestly think this is probably good for the garbage because I don't remember when I got this, but it's been a very long time. I'm surprised it's still in my collection. But yeah, we're gonna toss that one. And then I have a brand new primer to my collection, and that is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. It's still in its box. I have not used this or even opened it. Um, I'm excited. I've heard a lot of good reviews about this one. It, I hear it fills in the pores pretty well, so I am obviously keeping this and going to try it, and we'll see from there. Lastly, I have this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. And I know what you're thinking, liquid illuminator, isn't that a highlight raven? And yes, 100% this is the only thing you could use this for. It says online that it can also be used for a primer underneath the foundation to give a glowy finish. That is a whole lie. When you use this as a primer, and that's the whole reason I bought it, um... How do I put this nicely? You look like the Ted Man. I can't make that up. I'm gonna swatch it for you just so you can see because I'm not lying. And uh, yeah, so just a tiny little dab, right? Okay, okay. You're telling me that this can go under foundation <laughs> with no problem. No. If I wanted this for a liquid highlighter, it would probably be very beaming. Honestly, pretty glowy. I <laughs> But that's not why I bought this, and I don't really want it as a liquid highlighter. So I will be decluttering this one. So I found this little MAC strobe cream, and I went to open it up and see if there was product in it, and it combusted. So I'm going to let this one go as well. This I didn't count in the original count because I didn't see it until right now, but... Yeah, we're going to let that go because that's a mess. I guess technically we did get the six. However, we added the one more at the end. So I don't know how satisfied I am with that. That leaves us a total of nine primers. I don't think I need that. All right, guys, I made the executive decision to actually get rid of one more of my primers. So I am actually going to let go of the Milani Blur Stick. Like I said, I don't really reach for this and... If I haven't reached for it in the months that I've had it, I doubt that I'll reach for it anytime soon. I think I can find this a better home. My sister would probably love this, so I am going to pass this one along as well. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Out of the 14 I had, I decluttered 7 and kept 7. I feel like that's pretty good. I, I did a good job on that. That's half and half. Alright, go me! Alright, let's move on to the eye primers now. I know I have a few. I'm not sure how many. I know I just got a couple new ones. So I'm going to guess that I have five eye primers. So I actually have eight eye primers. <laughs> um, I'd like to get that down to about four, maybe five. So I'm going to say I want to declutter four eye primers. That would leave me with half of my eye primers. We did it with the face primers. Now let's see if we can do it with the eye primers. The first eye primer I have is my NYX Pigment Primer. This was in my 2020 favorites video. I love this stuff so much. And for the 650 it runs, totally worth it. The best drugstore eye primer you can get. And probably one of the best eye primers in general you can get if I'm being honest. I love this stuff. Definitely keeping it. Next, I have a cult favorite that was not a favorite of mine. And this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I don't like the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I haven't tried the face primer. I hear a lot of hype around that too. But because of this, I'm a little bit nervous and skeptical. For me, this made my eyelids so dry and blending shadows over it just made them patchy and it just did not look good. It was also really hard to like smooth out over the eye. Incredibly dry formula. Maybe I just got a bad one, but I just did not enjoy this whatsoever, which was shocking because literally everyone I hear talk about this 
rants and raves about it. Also, e.l.f. usually makes great products, so that was a little disappointing and unexpected. I don't know. I'm not mad, though. It was only $5. I, you know, it is what it is, but I am going to be decluttering this. I also have the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in black. Um, I thought this was interesting because a black base makes your eyeshadows look a little bit different, a little bit deeper. Um, do I use this though? I've used it one time. I'm going to be completely honest. I've only used it once, but I kind of like the idea of having it. So I am going to keep this one for now. Just in case I want to do some kind of different look, you know, like one eye with regular primer and one eye with the dark primer. I don't know. I think it could be kind of fun. I just, I need to use it, really. <laughs> Next primer I have is the Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Mott. This wasn't bad, but I definitely have primers I'm going to reach for over it, so I am going to let this one go. Next I have this Itty Bitty Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. I honestly don't remember where I got this either, or when, and how, because <laughs> this was so old. Literally, I can see it in the um, tube. It's like chunky you can't see it but it's like chunky it's no longer a liquid it is a solid that is a sign you need to go look get out of here <laughs> then i have my nyx glitter primer and this isn't going anywhere this was also in my 2020 favorites so good i used it today i use it with every cut crease i do it is just wonderful it makes the shimmers pop it makes your glitter stick it makes cut creases so much easier i love this stuff definitely keeping it all right we're having a technical difficulty because i again counted incorrectly i'm missing my fenty one let me go and try and find that because i know i have it all right guys i apologize for that i do have my fenty beauty pro filter eye primer as well this is what i have on my eyes today so i was like where did it go um this is really good i like this i'm keeping it next i have this hard candy long wear eye primer and i've had this for a while honestly i don't know i'm surprised there's like still product in this but it's definitely not good anymore and i'm definitely decluttering it next i have my model rock eye elixir and this i really enjoy as well i recently just got this one and i'm still trying it out but i have been enjoying it and i am going to keep it so because i counted wrong i actually started with nine and now i have five I'm pretty happy with that. I did declutter the four that I wanted to. Now let's go on to foundation. So far, I feel like I'm doing pretty well with the decluttering process. Let's hope we can keep this up with the foundations. So for foundation, I know I have a few. I don't think I have too, too many, but I know I have some that I don't use and can definitely declutter. So I think I'm going to guess that I have six foundations. Let's see how many I actually have. Wow, I was way off. I almost have double what I thought I have. I actually have 11. Okay, let's get this condensed. <laughs> the first one I have here is one of my favorite foundations. This is the Juvia's Place Shade Stick. It's what I have on my face today. I love this foundation so much. It's so dewy, so radiant, so beautiful. I rant and rave about it all the time. If you're not new here, you probably have already heard the whole spiel but of course I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> this was mentioned in my 2020 favorites as well. I'm not getting rid of this. It's going absolutely nowhere. I'm keeping it forever or at least until it's gone and then I'm repurchasing it because I absolutely adore it. Next I have a foundation that I do not absolutely adore. In fact, I don't like it very much at all. And that is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I have this one in porcelain. I feel like this is oxidized a lot because, I mean, just think about porcelain. This doesn't look like any porcelain shade I have ever seen. So I do think this is oxidized quite a bit. I've had it for a few years now, so to be fair, but um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. It's funny because I say I don't like that foundation, but here it is again. <laughs> Oh, why am I like this? I have this one in cloud. This one's even lighter than porcelain. This one hasn't oxidized, I don't think at all. Um, this one's only like a year or two old. Guys, there's like a lot left of this too. I don't like a full coverage foundation, so I know this is a cult favorite for a lot of people, and if it works for you, that's great. But for me, 
I don't like how it feels. It's just not my favorite foundation. Um, but I do like this because it is very light on me. I don't have a lot of foundations that aren't my shade because I try not to do that. <laughs> but when I'm doing cosplays and such, I sometimes like to have something a little bit lighter. So I don't know if I should keep this or not. Next, I have a foundation that I know I'm getting rid of. And this is the Maybelline Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation. Again, I don't really like how it felt on my face, but that's not why I'm getting rid of it. I found out that Maybelline is not cruelty-free, and I try my best to only use makeup that is cruelty-free, so I don't really support Maybelline anymore, and I won't be using this, like, ever. I literally got this and then found it out, like, a week later, so there's basically a full thing left. So maybe one of my friends or family members will get some use out of this. I'm not really sure, but I know I won't be using it, so I'm decluttering it. Next, I have a foundation that I have an emotional attachment to. Um, sounds weird, right? Yeah, we'll explain it in a second. That is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, this is far too dark for me. You can probably see that, but this is in tan, honey. The reason it's so dark for me is because this was never my foundation. This is my mom's foundation, and if you don't know, my mom passed away about two years ago. So I don't want to get rid of this because it reminds me of her. It's so sad because she barely got to use like any of this. She loved this foundation, by the way. She picked this up because of me. I used to have one in my color. I honestly don't like this foundation. It is very cakey, but at the time I really loved it and I was ranting and raving about it and she ended up picking up one of her own. So I feel like I'm going to keep this solely because... It was hers. It's not mine to get rid of. I don't know. Guys, leave me alone. I'm allowed to have emotional attachment to certain things, okay? I'm going to do it and you can't stop me. <laughs> Next, I have a foundation that's fairly new to my collection. This is the Milk Makeup Stick Foundation. I have mine in the shade Cream. I don't know how I feel about this foundation yet. I need to use it a little bit more. The first few times I've tried it, it is a little bit more full coverage than my liking. But I do want to give it a few more tries before I decide if I like it or not. So I am going to be keeping it. Next, I have two Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I have one in linen and I have one in porcelain. The reason I have two, you don't need two, but both of these actually do match me, which is pretty cool. But the reason I have two of them is because one came in a bundle and I had already bought this one before I bought the bundle. In retrospect, I should have just waited and bought the bundle and not bought this one, but, <laughs> but you know, here we are. Um, I'm keeping both. They're magnetic. They like each other, so they're just going to stick around together. Next, I have this sample I got in an Ulta sampler bag. This is the It Cosmetic CC Cream, and I actually really like this when I first got it, but I feel like it's oxidized or maybe I just haven't been out in the sun whatsoever you know, since 2020. That, that definitely, um, could be because that's, that's true. So I don't know if this got darker or if I got lighter. So I don't really know, but now this makes me look orange and I do not like this. I know it's only a sample size, but I'm very hesitant to buy the full size version of it now. I was, I was contemplating it. I was. It looked really good when I first, like, tried it, but now I'm just like, meh. I don't know. I'd rather not risk it. It's not a cheap product, so I'm going to pass on that, and I'm going to declutter this one. Then I have this Pop Beauty CC Cream. This one I am still on the fence about. At first, I didn't like it, and then as I wore it throughout the day, I started to really like it. I thought I looked really pretty. So I'm very unsure about this foundation as of right now. I am going to try it out some more and really get my feelings about it. So I'm going to keep it for now. Next I have this Dermacol foundation. This is the most full coverage foundation you will ever find. It covers everything, but in a cakey manner. So it's not my preferred preference now. But back when I was a teenager, breaking out a little bit, I never really had horrible acne. But I had it to the point where I didn't want it seen. And I would be going to school, or I'd be going out in public, and I was so insecure about my face. So I wanted to cover every little blemish I had. And so this was like, okay. <laughs> I think it was a little extreme personally for me. So I never really got the use out of it that I thought I was going to, and I don't use it now, and it is well expired. It's probably not good anymore. I definitely don't need it, so I am going to toss this one. All right, so we decluttered four, and we kept six. 
I'm not mad about it. It's still a lot of foundations, but I think I can get use out of all of them. So moving on to concealer. I'm going to guess that I have like three concealers. I know I don't have very many, so I'd be surprised if I had more than that, honestly. <laughs> but let's go count. So I technically have four, apparently, but one of them I wouldn't really consider a concealer. It's a concealer for your brows, so I guess technically it's a concealer. That is the NYX Pencil Concealer, and this I've used pretty much the entire thing of. I actually forgot I had this, but I, now that I know I have it, I might use it some more because I do like having a pencil for under the brows. Makes it a little bit easier. Right now I'm just using a liquid concealer for my brows, but I might go back to using this, so I think I'm going to keep it for now. Next I have a concealer that I pretty much wanted to get rid of the moment I had it in my hands, but I didn't. That is the Morphe Concealer. Oh god guys, we're talking about Morphe on my channel. Yikes. If you know, you know. I do not support Morphe and I usually don't talk about them, but when we're decluttering, of course we're gonna give it to Morphe. Okay. Morphe I don't support because of ethical reasons, but this concealer is just bad. It was the most dry thing ever. You put it on, and then not even three seconds later, it's dry. You can't blend it out. It's just, it's done. It, I, <laughs> the fact that getting my use out of this took literally so long, I didn't know what to do with this, so I just literally had it in my collection for the longest time, and then I finally decided to use it for my brows, and that kind of worked, so I kind of got my use out of it, but really, I regret this purchase 100%. I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't that expensive, but it was just the factor that it literally was tr just not good. I really did not enjoy this, and it is getting decluttered. Since we were just so negative, let's fill the air with some positivity and talk about my favorite concealer. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer, and I talked about this in my 2020 favorites. It is a favorite, and I don't think it ever will not be a favorite. I'm scared because when this runs out, I'm going to have to spend $24 on a concealer, I think. I just purchased two of the e.l.f. camo concealers. I got the hydrating one and the regular one. I'm hoping that I will enjoy one of those slightly, even a little bit as much as I like this one, because I really don't love the idea of spending $24 on a concealer, but if nothing compares to this, I'm going to have to go back, because this is just so good. I honestly love this with all of my heart, and more than likely I will be repurchasing it, because I doubt any concealer can hold up to it. I'm sorry, it's just, it's the truth. But hopefully they'll be somewhat decent until I can wrangle up my change so that way I can grab another one of these because this is just so good. But this is definitely not going anywhere. I love it to pieces. Lastly, I have this pretty vulgar concealer. This is far too dark. I think you guys can see that. Um, I'm a ghost and this is not. This is in the shade, the middle ground. It's probably like a middle shade or something. Um, it's not my shade, that's for sure. I wanted to use this, but it's just, I can't. It's too dark, okay? <laughs> like, that's the bottom line. I can't tell you if it's good. I can't tell you if it's bad because I never used it. It's just too dark. But I have heard good things about Pretty Vulgar, so hopefully I can find somebody who this does suit better and maybe they'll love it. Who knows? Did I set a goal for how many I wanted to declutter? Oh no, who even am I? Okay, well, I didn't really have a goal on that one because concealer is something that I probably could use a few more of just because backups, you know? But anyway, I kept two and I decluttered two. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty good for me. I think that's pretty good. I feel like that was a really long video and I apologize, but I hope we had some fun today. And I also hope you have a wonderful day and stay beautiful. Mwah.